and the prelate of Methodist Church of Niger, Samuel Chukwemekado, and call on the federal government to sharply reverse the recent high price for fuel pump and the increase for electric tariff from the government. The prelate Samuel Chukwemekaya and say to consider the recent hardship where they face the country, say it would be too bad and for any government to increase fuel price plus uh, electric money. <laughs> They can realize it by, by, by stopping all the bogus allowances, all the bogus uh, things they are doing. They are capable of taking care of Nigerians. We have enough money to take care of Nigerians and their needs. Eh? So don't tell this. I'm not talking about myself. I cannot afford it. But there are less privileged people that cannot afford it. So for their sake, they will reduce all these things. And yes, so we get a one Zoom guest, Mr. Awudu Liberty Oseni, will be coordinator, Media Advocacy West African Foundation, Mawa Insider, Abuja. And Mr. Awudu Oseni, will they hear you this Kaja day? Can you hear me? Yes, will they hear you? Thank you, sir. You join our Bonga News this Kaja day. So, what do you think about the change inside the price for petrol? Well, uh, for me, is is annoying. It a pain. Say mm -hmm. government don't change price of petrol. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the matter is, say as government change the price of petrol, mm -hmm. government did they do what they supposed to do before they change this price? One, we suppose no say even the time of good luck, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. The while I say come before you do this kind of thing. Repair the refineries. Mm -hmm. Government no repair government no fix refineries. You know, and where did even the pain pass? Government they claim say they they, they don't deregulate um, the oil sector, and waiting be deregulation. Regulation the same make government remove their hand, let private sector and other people be in charge. Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter as of today. NNPC still they call the shots, hmm. you know. Hmm. NNPC is in charge of everything. NNPC now then they export, now then they import, now then they distribute, now then they import. So that no deregulation. So if you want to do the regulation, do the regulation so that private people can come take over the job. So there is no deregulation. Oh. And Nigerians, you are going to remove stop city. Okay. In okay. the name of deregulation. Okay. Um, so this government mm. no get any reason, no get any moral justification mm. to remove subsidy if okay. they don't fix the refineries. Because mm. the only justification when they get not to remove um uh not to fix the refineries. So long as this government has not fixed it, look in 2012, the argument we say, Jonathan, we know talk so many people remove subsidy, but before you remove subsidy, you fix the refineries. Address corruption with the NNPC. To today, the corruption with the NNPC still today they fly like a replay. Mm. That corruption they never suffer. Mm. The refineries are not even working, and they even pay. Say even at the refineries, no, they work. Over billions of naira is being paid to people when no they do anything. We just sit down there. Mm. Which kind of country did this one? Hmm. Okay, so Mr. Awudu, it gets uh, one thing I still want to ask you concerning this same matter. We've been hearing reports say CSOs say uh, they, they divide this time and it will not be like that for 2012 during the subsidy protest. You think say not true? And if not true, what thing you think say go they responsible as it take be like this? Okay, let, let me tell you one thing. Hmm. And I take responsibility for this talk while they talk. Okay. So I take personal responsibility for the matter. Okay. In 2012, Mm. The opposition, APC, funded civil society to occupy Ojota. Mm. They funded civil society to occupy Lagos, Abuja, Kano, and other rest of them. So it is not a non-secret. It is not a secret mm. that a civil society can't do anything. 
Many civil society, as we speak today, mm. they are not part and parcel of this government. So the agenda 2012, for me, it seems as if the agenda will not be because of Nigerian people. Okay. As I take responsibility, say, in 2012, now opposition give money to civil society, may okay. they do what they do. Mm. Right. Okay. So this time around, why we can't they, all of us say the the civil society, why we can't they pretend like say we know no city is not spoiled? Mm. Eh? And in 2012, what we talk about? We talk see president, if go, Jonathan will remove subsidy, mm. make him fix uh, uh, refineries, okay. Abby, yeah. and make him address the corruption okay. with the NNPC. Okay. okay. Today, the corruption they know address them. Corruption, okay. though the NNPC they fly like a airplane. Okay. Refineries packed there, they only do a meeting. Oh. We see the import crude, the export crude. So, what do you mean the justification say we want they remove subsidy? It don't make sense. Okay, it so, don't make uh, sense. Mr. Wood, so, the civil of society, time. the mm. way acts, mm. the, the civil society they divided okay. because some are members of APC, okay. some don't be members of APC. Okay. And I take responsibility. Some of them who, in short, I know some of them today who are already having. Um, position with the APC, you know, political appointment. Mm. So you expect them to come out. So make we stop this kind of uh, hypocrisy. You know, they help anybody, they pay me. Okay. Maybe, you know, make we stop this kind of hypocrisy. In right, 2012, right. mm. dollar na 200 naira, today dollar na 500 and something. And we even complain, say, fuel na 141 naira at that time. So what did make us sit down? What did Buari don't do? Buari don't do anything because the subsidy we remove. The, uh, the um, what do they call them now? The refinery, no fixer. Okay. okay. So nothing will even do what what in Jonathan do. So why we sit down and pretend like say matter don't go, that matter don't 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 tie that. Right? Okay, Mr. Alseni, uh, we still say, Mr. Alseni, we still say you're the vex and you really do press up on top of this matter. But one last question because of time, I make Joshua Pali answer us. And I'll be saying, uh, how you want to take yarn about uh, as government take explanate, say there no day in charge of this uh, price change for fuel matter inside of Bodo Ninja? That is, the, if you listen to the first question, the, my first conversation, the time mm. I started this work, mm. talk, the waiting government talk saying a lie, government they in charge. PPRA, now they see the fixed price. Okay. NNPC, now they see the in charge of petrol for this country. Now they see mm. the import, now they see the export, now they see the, now they be retailer, now they be distributor. Okay. distributor. Okay. Well, that then, yeah. is not deregulation. Okay. If you want to do deregulation, remove, deregulation means they make government remove their hand. Okay. You can't do deregulation, NNPC, now they see the in charge. So oh, okay. who they import, who they export? You know, so, so the go as far as I am concerned, as mm. far as I'm concerned, no deregulation for this country. John Buhari government has not done any deregulation. So may they stop to the lie to Nigeria because if you don't do deregulation, NNPC no support to the issue fees for that. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Awujo Seni, for this Ogbonga information all the way from Abuja. Make you get Kaja Day.